Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new military list. Today we have the base launched anti-ship missiles. Don't worry, very soon will arrive also the air launched anti-ship missiles. But uh, for now, enjoy the list and see you at the end with a little bonus. The first missile of the list is the Harpoon Block 2 from the United States. It's being produced from 1977 and the latest variant was introduced in 2018. It costs 1.2 million dollars with anti-ship and land attack capabilities. It has a range of 130 km and a speed of 860 km per hour or Mach 0.7. It has a flight altitude of 5 meters and engines of two stages. The first one is a rocket booster with solid fuel and the second one is a turbo Budget. The warhead is a 220 kg of uh, high explosive blast with an accuracy of uh, 5 meters. This missile can be launched from aircraft, ship, submarine and land. And the uh, latest variant, the Harpoon Block 2 ER extended range, will arrive in 2022. At the 12th spot we can find the SSM-700K from South Korea. It's being produced from 2006, it has a cost of 3.7 million dollars, it has a range of 170 km with a speed of 1010 km per hour or Mach 0.8. The flight altitude is uh, 6 meters and the engine is a single stage turbofan. The warhead is a 190 kg of uh, high explosive blast with an accuracy of 5 meters. This missile can be launched from uh, ships and uh, submarines and we can find also land attack variants launched from ships and submarines too. At the 11th spot we can find the Exocet from France. It's being produced from 1973 and the latest variant, the MM40 Block 3, was introduced in 2009. It has a cost of 3.5 million dollars, it has a range of 180 km with a speed of Mach 0.9. It has a flight altitude of 4 meters and we have a two-stage engine with the first stage made by a solid fuel rocket booster and a turbojet second stage. The warhead is a 165 kg high explosive blast with an accuracy of 6 meters. The Exocet can be launched from aircraft, ships, submarine and land. Ok, it's time to start the top 10 with the first one of the list, the RBS-15 from Sweden. It's being produced from 1985 and the latest variant, the RBS-15 MK3, was introduced in 2004. It has a cost of 4 million dollars with both anti-ship and land attack capabilities. It has a range of 250 km with a speed of 800 km per hour or Mach 0.6. The flight altitude is 15 meters and the engine is a turbojet. The warhead is a 200 kg prefragmented high explosive blast with an accuracy of 10 meters. It can be launched from aircraft, ship and land, while a newer variant will be available in 2020, so just uh, next year. At the 9th spot we can find the Siung Feng 3 from Taiwan, I hope the name is right. It's being produced from 2016, so it's a very new missile and it has only anti-ship capabilities. It has a range of 290 km with a speed of 3300 km per hour, so a Mach 2.7 speed. It has a flight altitude of 125 meters, so not so good because it's not sea skimming and easier to be detected. With a two-stage engine, the first stage is a solid fuel rocket booster and a second liquid fuel ramjet. For the warhead we have a 225 kg armor piercing type. This missile can be launched from ship or land and a newer variant, the Siung Feng 3 ER extended range, will arrive in 2020. At the 8th spot we can find the Automat from France and Italy. It's being produced from 1977 and the latest version, the Teseo MK2 EVO, was introduced in 2008. It has a cost of only 0.5 million dollars, is quite cheap compared to the others. Also this one has anti-ship and land attack capabilities, with a range of 360 km and a speed of 1100 km per hour, or Mach 0.9. It has a flight altitude of 7 meters and the engine is a turbojet. The warhead is a direct impact 210 kg type with an accuracy of 5 meters. It can be launched only from ships and there is another variant, the Milas, introduced in 2002 that has anti-submarine capabilities. 
at the seventh spot we find the P700 granite from Russia. It's being produced from 1983 and the latest variant, the P1000 Vulcan, was introduced in 1992 with anti-ship and land attack capabilities. It has a range of 800 km with a speed of 3000 km per hour or Mach 2.5. It's very fast. It has a flight altitude of 5 meters and the engine is a two stage. The first one is a turbojet, the second one is a ramjet. For the warhead we have two possibilities, or a 750 kg direct impact type or a 500 kilotons nuclear type. The accuracy is 5 meters and it can be launched from ships or submarines. At the 6th spot we can find the Naval Strike Missile from Norway. It's being produced from 2012. It has anti-ship and land attack capabilities with a cost of $4.5 million. It has a range of 185 km with a speed of 1100 km per hour or Mach 0.9. It has a flight sailing of 7000 meters and a flight altitude of 5 meters. For the engine we have two stages. The first one is a solid fuel rocket booster and the second one is a turbojet. For the warhead we have a 125 kg high explosive blast fragmentation with an accuracy of 4 meters. This missile can be launched from aircraft, ship or land. Another variant developed for the F-35 will arrive in 2020, in the next year. And we start the top 5 with the SOM from Turkey. It's being produced from 2012 and it has anti-ship and land attack capabilities. It has a cost of 0.9 million dollars, so also this one is quite cheap, with a range of 250 km with a speed of 1150 km per hour or Mach 0.9. It has a flight ceiling of 7000 meters and a flight altitude of 4-5 meters, while the engine is a turbojet. For the warhead we have a 230 kg high explosive semi-armor piercing dual stage penetrator with an accuracy of 5 meters. This uh, missile can be launched from aircraft, ship or land and also in this case we have a variant developed for the F-35 that will be available in 2020. At the fourth spot we can find the P-800 Onyx from Russia. It's being produced from 2002 and it has anti-ship and land attack capabilities. The cost is 2.1 million dollars and it has a range of 600 km with a speed of 3000 km per hour or Mach 2.4. It has a flight ceiling of 14,000 meters and a flight altitude of 10 meters. For the engine we have a first stage solid fuel rocket booster and a ramjet second stage. For the warhead we have a 250 kg semi armor piercing high explosive with an accuracy of only 3 meters. The launch platform can be a aircraft, ship, submarine or land. At the third spot we have another Russian missile, the 3M54 Calibre. It's being produced from 2012 and it has anti-ship, anti-submarine and land attack capabilities. It has a cost of 1.9 million dollars with a range of 660 km and a speed of 3500 km per hour or Mach 2.8. The flight ceiling is 1000 meters while the flight altitude is 5 meters sea skimming. For the engine we have a first stage solid fuel rocket booster and a second second stage turbojet. For the warhead we have 500 kg that can be conventional or nuclear, with an accuracy of 4 meters. It can be launched from ship, submarine or land, and for this one we have also a land attack variant with a Niger range but lower speed, and an anti-submarine variant that can be launched from ships or submarine. At the second spot we can find the AGM-158 from United States. It's being produced from 2018, so also this one is very new, and it has anti-ship and land attack capabilities. It has a cost of 0.9 million dollars, so it's also very cheap, and a range of 600 km with a speed of 1100 km per hour or Mach 0.9. It has a flight ceiling of 15,000 meters and a flight altitude of only 3 meters sea skimming. For the engine we have a first stage solid fuel rocket booster and a second stage liquid fuel turbojet. For the warhead we have a 450 kg high explosive blast fragmentation penetrator with an accuracy of only 1 meter. It's very precise. The launch platform can be aircraft, ship or land and we have also an air to surface cruise missile variant with 1000 km extended range. 
And finally for the first spot we can find the Brahmos from India and Russia. It's being produced from 2006 and it has anti-ship and land attack capabilities with a cost of 2.7 million dollars. It has a range of 600 km with a speed of 3700 km per hour or Mach 3.0 is the fastest on the list until now. It has a flight ceiling of 14,000 meters and a flight altitude of 3 meters sea skimming. For the engine we have a first stage solid fuel rocket booster and a second stage liquid fuel ramjet. For the warhead we have or 200 kg conventional semi-armor piercing type or 300 kg air launched nuclear type. Also for this one we have an accuracy of only 1 meter, so also this one is very precise, and it can be launched from aircraft, ship, submarine and land. We have also two more variants that will arrive in 2020 and 2022 that are faster, actually Mach 7, smaller and lighter. Ok, the video is finished and as usual it's time for the final considerations. I'm sorry today we don't have the camera, I had problems uh, with the webcam so for today you can see my beautiful face but I think it's not a big deal. And let's speak about the list and especially about the first two positions. In the today list the first and the second position are really really different. As you maybe noticed the first one is much slower but it has stealth feature, while the second one is much faster but of course without the stealth feature. So how I made my choice? Uh, in this case I think you can switch the two positions as you like because they are really different and it's really difficult to see which one is really better. But in my case I was just thinking the uh, stealth feature of the second position are great. So if they really work it could be an awesome missile because the enemy can be hit without even know what happened but it's really invisible or maybe with uh, you know a, some sort of radar you can intercept it and also if it's invisible the speed is not so high it's still slower than sound so maybe with optic uh, sensor you should be able to see it because actually it's not invisible it's invisible only on radar but you should still be able to see with your eyes or some optical uh, feature so I'm really not sure if uh, the stealth feature is uh, see, really so good as they, they say. While about the first position, the speed is uh, something that actually it's there, it, it exists. You know that it's fast, so it's difficult to hit something that travels uh, so fast at a low altitude. You, we know that we have uh, um, anti-missile missiles that can intercept this kind of... Uh, too many times the word missiles in uh, this uh, sentence, but uh, you can understand me. Uh, the speed is something that it's actually easier to understand for us, and I think it's really difficult to hit a target like this. Uh, for the same reason, now I will show you the bonus of today that for me is probably the best missile we can have uh, soon because it's not uh, still in uh, service but is under trial so will be in service I think very soon. And is the Russian Zircon. It's not stealth but it has a, an awesome speed, very close to Mach 8.0 that is almost 10,000 km per hour. It's really fast but really fast, so I don't think there will be something that can stop this missile to hit the target because also if you can notice the missile in time and it's difficult because with this speed at a low altitude I think it's really difficult. I don't think you have the time to, uh, you know, to stop it before it hits the target. So for me this one is the best missile in the world or will be soon the best missile in the world as soon as they put it in uh, service and for now the Brahmos is the closest one to the Zircon. Uh, soon will be available also the Brahmos 2 that is similar to this uh, Zircon. For now this is what uh, I think about it. Let me know if you uh, agree with me or not, if you think maybe the stealth features are better, if you think so let me know in the comments, I will be glad to you know have a conversation with you and to exchange our opinions, maybe you can change my mind, so it's always appreciated. Of course if you liked the video leave also a like, check the other videos like this one, you can find the playlist in the description of the video or in the right top corner, and that's all, see you next Saturday with a new video, bye!